hello guys welcome to AutoCAD 2016 video tutorials in this session I will go through these figures how to draw in AutoCAD I mean a square and an inscribed cycle, circle and an inscribed square again a circle and a within a circle and also this figure first we'll do about we'll take care of this figure so I'll just open AutoCAD kind of takes some time to load this is messing with me AutoCAD you wanna play with me oh here you are hold on a second Let's begin our drawing. So we have fifty by fifty square. Select fifty. Before that, you just switch on the ortho mode so that it stays orthogonal ok 50 now it's let's say let's say as 20 ok and then as per figure let us say this distance as 100 here you go and also let's see the other distance let's say this has 10 and this will be 25 again let's say this as 15 so this will be 10 and this will be 25 and this will be 15 again let's say 10 and again let us check it out what do we have? We have 10 downside again this side 10 now moving downside let's say 15 moving back say 25 going up say 10 there you go. Looks like we need to add more distance since we need to have fifteen over here. So let's say five more now we have 15 ok till here yeah that's right 
then let's say downside we have 20 plus 15 35 and remain 15 then over here 50 touching the final end select escape we need to draw a square in the middle rectangle Let's draw it in this way. Okay, this should be fine for now. Or what we can do is we can just select fifteen in this way. Now going for the dimensions, don't worry about this box, there should be some kind of mistake in the diagram, going for the dimensions, okay the dimensions are small, so why don't you delete them, go to annotation, manage textiles, select height as 10, now let's select to select apply close then again going to annotation selecting standard selecting manage dimension styles selecting modify and let's say symbol and arrows okay arrow size as 2 select ok close now let's check our dimensions okay sounds good So we are almost done with everything in here. Now coming to the next diagram, you see first one is a square of 75 by 75. So uh, let's try a rectangle. Seventy five, comma, seventy five, select enter. Okay, let us check our dimensions. Wow, sounds good. Now we have circle and we probably need the center point for the circle
let's make it easy select 37.5 ok now you can select escape now looks like you have one part coming to circle select center diameter oh, it's coming the other way let us try something else two point this looks good is going wrong let me try okay hold on a second there should be the midpoints let's select ok now let me check it out uh, looks good right yeah in that way but I have selected something else let me select center radius We are done with our circle. Now, the next thing we have is a square. What do we do about that? Let me select. Okay. Nope. So it will be better if you draw with a line. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, here you go. We are done with another square. Then we have almost circle inside it touching the center points. I see. Okay, let's say. center points okay now we have one more circle inside which is 25 diameter that says that um, 25 diameter so this is 50 diameter uh, circle and the inside one is 25 diameter circle so the difference is 25 diameter which is exactly 12.5 on both sides so I will create a offset offset distance will be 12.5 select enter now I'll select the object as you see I have done I have created my circle now coming to the dimensions let me select this one Let me select align dimension. Here you go. Then let going to the
let us select uh, radius so select the particular circle and radius will come up once again radius is, has come up similarly for the last circle too okay now let us do the diameter too selecting the circle you get the diameter then again selecting the circle you get the diameter then again selecting the circle you get the diameter okay so in this way uh, we can uh, draw it so drawing a circle involves many methods like center radius so let's say center I have given and some radius I will enter it's 15 and then we have center diameter select center and the diameter let's say 5 you see select 5 now we have 2 point so let's say this is first point and this is the second point in that way uh, we can go through all those things coming to the polyline polyline is a line which is a single object suppose if you want to draw a rectangle say 15 by 20 by 15 by 20 and select escape oh, oh no problem so when you select this the whole object is selected that is the benefit of using a polyline I mean whole object uh, is assumed is considered as a single object when you do with line select 15 by 20 by 15 select escape so when you select it is it does selected as individually but when you come to polyline all of it is selected as together that's the difference between polyline and line okay so for this video that's enough uh, we'll go through another another commands in next video thank you for watching the video